video. So we are in our room at um, Port Orleans French Quarter and I wanted to show you guys. We invested in this box um, that holds our stuff while, while we are at home and stuff that I don't have to keep making sure I pack and keep making sure that I bring back and forth. I can't remember where we heard it at. Um, but we didn't even know this existed and it's actually been around for I think 15, 13 or 15 years, I think 15 years. Um, and it is awesome. Um, my husband and I, we wish we would have thought of this sooner. Let's go ahead and jump on into um, this real quick. And this is called the owner's locker. And what you do is it's a 13 by 22 let me see what it says here yeah so it's a 13 by 22 of course you can fit a lot of stuff in here but uh, they have these little dividers which you can um, move around and everything and and um, move to the sizes that you need <clears throat> And then it also comes with this little case, which it comes with um, little dividers in there as well. And you just tear them apart and um, you make the size that you need for um, whatever you're wanting to put in here, which I have the little fill rod in here. Um, and I'm gonna put some other stuff. I got uh, our toothbrushes that I'm gonna stick in here. Um, sorry for the mess behind it, it has all of our are close to go home but um yeah and it just fits in here like so and then um, of course I'm gonna keep our uh, fans in here um, so that way I don't have to keep carrying those back and forth and we don't really use them at home so um, I thought it would be a good idea just to keep them up here uh, I did buy, whenever we got up here, some uh, shampoo, conditioner, and bath soap. I was looking for, my husband uses Vicks every night, so I was looking for that. I was trying to find um, some other things to leave in the locker as well. Um, to, and there is a couple things that you cannot keep in there. Um, I'm just going to read through a couple of these. It says, um, uh, please do not put anything illegal. Um, that's firearms, drugs, anything illegal in the state of Florida. Um, put any perishable foods or solvents in your locker. You know, they don't want anything to go bad in there, especially before you come back. Uh, because it, you don't know how long you're going to be, you know, until you come back the next time. So they don't want something spoiling inside your locker because that's just, that's really gross. Um, don't overstuff your locker. Um, don't put anything valuable like money, jewelry, stuff like that um, inside your locker. Um, they do the owner's locker liability um, for damages or loss for your locker is only $100. So, you know, just be aware of that. Um, you're not putting anything too, you know, uh, pricey in there. And I don't want to put anything that I can't get again in there in case for whatever reason it gets lost, it gets damaged. So you don't want to put anything um, wet in your locker. So any swimsuits, any um, loofahs, uh, tennis shoes, socks, just anything that's wet I wouldn't put in here. Um, so that way it doesn't stink your clothes up. And of course um, putting uh, those in there and not knowing when you're going to come back it's just going to get moldy and musty and you don't want all your other stuff getting ruined because of that. So I do want to let you know also that uh, on the site on your account description area where you can actually put what you have in your locker so that way the next time you come up you don't have to buy it or you don't have to bring it with you. You know what you have in your locker. And then also make sure that your uh, locker is securely fastened. So they do give you they do give you these little um, zip ties and uh, they are like breakaway zip ties. You can put as many zip ties on here as you want. There is places for four zip ties. 
So you can actually put four zip ties on there and then whenever you come, you can just break them off. They're, um, they give you really uh, good ones to actually uh, break off. When you do uh, pick it up, so you can actually put on the website what time you're coming or what day you're coming. You can pick your resort um, and it's not just Disney, it's actually um, in Orlando. So uh, let's say you're staying at a Universal um, resort or something like that, they can actually ship it to that resort um, or they bring it to that resort for you to pick up that day. So um, you go to Bell Services or wherever and you actually pick it up. That's where we picked ours up. And then you also just put in the day that you're coming that it needs to go back and then you drop it off at Bell Services and then they'll come pick it up. So which makes it so much less like stressful for you. So all you do is just give it to them. It has your name on the side of the box so they know you know whose it is and um, that way you can see um, and on the website you can also see where like if your box is already at your resort for you and waiting on you so that was like really awesome so inside um, with the papers they do have an owner's locker terms and conditions so it does kind of just go through with you the locker is guaranteed for life um, if you want to keep your locker upon termination of your owner's locker membership, you will be asked to pay $50. Um, if you cancel your membership within the first two years and $25 if you cancel between two to five years. Um, so once you've been a member for five years, the locker is yours to keep at no cost, which is pretty cool. Um, I meant that way, you know. Um, of course, we don't know how long we're going to keep this, so we decided to try it out, and um, it's actually pretty cool. I do want to go over the membership with you. Um, so, it is a membership. Um, it's not like you can just do it once or whatever the case may be. I mean, you can do it once, but you're going to have to cancel and then, like I said, pay a fee. Um, the membership plans uh, are a value plan, which is $8.50. and um, it includes a climate storage warehouse. Round trip visits are $27.50 each um, for your first locker and $13.75 for um, additional lockers. So if you do need to put, um, your, you can buy more than just one locker. Um, a moderate plan is storage is climate controlled warehouse, um, which they're all climate controlled warehouses. One free round trip per, uh, one, one round trip visit per year. Additional round trips, of course, is $27.50 for each first locker and $13.75 for um, additional lockers, which that's $10.50 for the moderate plan. So that's per month. Um, deluxe plan is $19 a month. Uh, storage is climate controlled warehouse, unlimited free round trip visits per year. We went ahead and got the deluxe plan just because we don't want to pay that extra $27.50 every time we come. So we were like, we'll just get the the um, free round trips because we never know when we're going to come up. Um, and that's just less money that we have to worry about paying for. And um, of course that was per month. So um, it came out to almost $200, um, but they don't charge you until you leave. So until you give them the locker back, um, until you say, hey, you're coming to pick it up this day, that's when they'll charge you. So um, that was kind of nice. But, um, and then you do can, you can do monthly billing or annual billing.